Throughout Arthur Penn's life, he directed many movies, but specifically he is known for Bonnie and Clyde, The Miracle Worker, and Little Big Man, which was made in 1970. According to Roger Ebert, most films, especially ones with violence, have their climax at the end. Penn puts his near the center. He can control violence as well as any American director as he does in Bonnie and Clyde. Looking at movies, the fourth edition says there are six types of movie genres, one of those being a western, which is what Little Big Man is classified as. Movie genres are designed by sets of conventions known as genre conventions, such as theme, setting, presentation style, story formulas, and stars. Most westerns have the theme of wilderness versus civilization. Looking at movies defines theme as a unifying idea that the film expresses through its narrative or imagery. In Little Big Man, the scene after Jack Crabb starts to tell his story is a great example that contains both parts. At first you see the wide open land which represents the wilderness, but as the camera pans across, you see in the foreground a dead body spread across a chair with a burning wagon in the background. It's showing incoming settlers traveling through the west which represents civilization. This opening scene to Crabb's story not only represents the differences between the two, but reveals how wilderness is truly against civilization. The Indians are killing the whites to preserve their land and lifestyle. What sets Little Big Man apart is the fact that it takes a side of the Cheyenne. In Hollywood's Indian, the portrayal of the Native American film, it describes how classic westerns portray the whites as representatives of civilization and the Indians as barbarians. This one suggests the opposite. Instead of savages or Indians threatening heroic pioneers, the Indians are victims of malevolent treatment by the United States Army. On avywinrib.com, it states, Little Big Man is something else altogether, an intellectually demanding picture that seizes on the issues of the day while casting a light on the crisis of moral indeterminacy that faced the United States of America in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The prevailing conditions of the film's time of origin encourage exploration of moral uncertainty with American life. The unforgiving account of Jack Crabb demands it.